Okay, guys, and we're back. Right, that was not quite as intuitive to change a disc as you'd think. Anyway, let's continue. On to disc two. Even in town, there were a lot of vampires. Yeah, but it all started at the desert moon. We should be all right all the way out here. <laughs> Okay. What? We're yeah. out of gas. <laughs> it sounded like a teenager. There's a gas station over there, but the road is blocked. Something's weird. And that didn't say gas or fuel, it said oil. Which potentially would be worse than running out of gas. Right, okay. We're out of the desert moon. And I guess we've been driving for a long time? Question mark? Alright, well let's go try and find some gas. Okay. Come on, squeaky voiced hero. The door is lot of really The door is locked. Oh ah okay. Lel. Let's go to Tom's Diner, I guess. Tom's Diner. Misato, you stay here. She's not going to say anything. She's not going to object or agree or whatever. She's just like, okay, cool. Right, let's buy, well, get an energy drink, I suppose, and we have, uh, well, that's nice, a magazine. What's that? A machine that makes lucky coins, doesn't work. Yeah, I don't understand these lucky coin machines. Uh, it doesn't look like she's going to stay there, it looks like she's going to follow us around. Oh, yes, come to daddy. Daddy's happy now. Although, that's only six shotgun shells. Ooh! I wasn't expecting to get any of those again, that's for sure. Right. Uh, I guess we're going to go this way. It'd be nice to have a save room so we could actually use that anesthetic dart. Ooh! Well, he's a very burly boy, isn't he? You know what? Oh, he's very burly boy. Taking magnum rounds like a champion. Alright. Oh, nice. More supplies. Be nice if one of these is a key. Yes, more shells. Lovely. So, those guys look a lot... Oh, nice. They look a lot tougher. Which is curious. Because they were like mutants. They had like big bulging muscles and stuff. Ah, we can actually go up here. Not sure if I want to go up here. But we can. Oh, okay. Um, get your gun out, you absolute tool belt. Yes. Wow, that thing hurt. Don't really want to be wasting all of these magnum rounds. To be honest. I have a feeling that we are eventually... Ooh, look. Well, this is an interesting area. Ah, okay. Key to the campground vehicle. The key to the campground... Yeah, what about the key to the campground vehicle? Do you mean we don't have it? Are you trying to say that we don't have the key to the, the vehicle? Okay. There's a forklift. If we had a key, it might run. Oh man, so many keys needed. So many keys needed. Oh god. Hey ladies. Hey ladies. Hey ladies, can can you stop fisting my asshole please? Like I didn't want to do this, alright? 
I really didn't want to do that to you, okay? But you're fisting my asshole. And you have supplies, so... Ooh. Okay. Right. If I get my gun, I will come back and save you. <sighs> Jesus Christ, they were tough. Is that what a blue moon does? I guess the blue moon just really makes the enemies hurt us. Okay. I'm hoping this is a save room because we kind of need one. Not seeing a save room. There's a steering wheel. Steer it? Uh, let's have a look around first, shall we? That does not look like a steering wheel to me. Oh, I'll take the juice. Oh, yeah, we definitely won the Magnum rounds. Okay, let's steer the steering wheel. But it looks more like a lever to me. Uh... I don't even know what that is. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah. We're gonna ignore that sound. Oh, right. It actually is like a little cranky wheel thing. That's not a steering wheel, okay? A steering wheel, right, allows you to steer things. Okay? That's why it's called a steering wheel. Because you can steer, change direction. Oh, my God. Did, did anyone proofread this game? All right, let's try this door. I can actually go in here. Ah, this is a save room. Okay, cool. Just what we needed. Ah, supplies. Good. Yes, my God, they'll, they are refilling our shotgun supplies. And a map, which, yeah, okay. We could use that. They really have just restocked our shotgun. So we're going to put the Magnum back because we we want to save that puppy for actual, you know, boss encounters. Because from that boss that we just had, uh, the Magnum seems to be like the only weapon that's really going to crack them. Yeah, that's right. We've got no saves, have we? Because it, it's going to detect this game as a new game. So, that's fine. Or it's going to detect this disc as a new game, I should say. Right, okay. Um, so, let's have a look. Let's get our dart gun back. Because, I mean, if we can save those vampire women, then I guess that is what we will do. Uh... I guess we want that. I mean, is there any point in saving those three? They're kind of locked off in their own area. Would it not be worth saving these darts? Yeah. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't have all the answers. Right. I guess we could check, see if we've got any more mail suppose I wish I had all the answers guys but I don't you know nope still just these two like wasn't this supposed to give us like extra mail and stuff there is um, a name you can type in at the beginning when it asks you for your name and it gives you saucy pictures of um, the voice actress for Misoko. Misoto. I mean, okay. I, yeah, uh, doesn't really seem like a worthwhile Easter egg to me. And I think it gives you two pictures per save room after the first one or something. So, ugh. Seems like a really crappy kind of bonus to me. You know what? Let's go save those ladies because. We might as well, I guess. My concern is we're going to take a lot of damage here. And this will be for science, actually. 
Let's see if the damage to them actually carries over, shall we? This is for science, boys and girls. Oh dear. Ow. Yeah, not really sure that was worth it. Like, at all. I mean, we were probably pretty backed up here, so... There we go. Ah, a bit of relief for us. Well, that's that. That, you know, it really does take a lot of darts to cure people or to knock people out. Like, it really does. And was it raining before? I don't think it was. <sighs> right, let's keep going. We've got our boomstick as well, so... Oh, oh god, yeah, look. There's... Yeah, that might have been a huge waste of... Dart ammo. Alright, well, let's see. I find it interesting that that gun actually has piercing, uh, like a piercing effect. It does go through multiple enemies, which is nice. So even with weakening them, it still takes five shots. That's a lot, man. Like, can we put another round into these guys? Or will that be too much for them? Yeah. Yeah, it's still too much. Is there any chance of getting a more powerful... See, okay, I mean, he only took one dart to put down. That actually makes it, like, worthwhile. But the darts are just... They're too weak. They really are. They're useless. I reckon the damage is just a little bit random as well, you know? I'd l actually like this to be more darts. Uh, I mean, key to the small storage room is also a thing. Those. The hell are we now? Oh god, is that like a well? Is Sadako going to come down out of here? That rain effect, looking straight down, is actually pretty bloody good, to be honest. So we came all this way just to get to the small the small storage key. It was in the, the, like at the back of a well for some reason. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. Fine. I mean, admittedly, it... Seems like that was further away than it actually was. But we've saved some more vampires, I guess. We're saving who we can. As for the rest, fuck them. Let God sort them out, I guess. Alright, uh, mm, right, this way. And then we've got to go back through the diner. I suppose Misoko, or Misoto, whatever the hell her name is, has probably, like, disappeared. Actually, no, it was back, yeah, it was back, yeah. Hopefully she hasn't been murdered by gribbly monsters. Hello. You could at least make yourself useful here. And, I don't know, put the kettle on or something. And that's not a feminist joke anti-feminist joke just stating the fact that she's in there in a diner sitting down on her ass could at least put a kettle on come on oh nice they're oh there's a chainsaw storage shelf locked and can't can't be opened why show it to me if it can't be opened Ah, uh, useless. <laughs> eh, good. Ooh. 
locked and can't be opened. Oh, forklift key. Oh man, this is just like go here, get the key, go back here, use the key, use that to find another key to go back through the room that you've just been through to get another key. Ugh. I mean, yes, Resident Evil did that, but not to this degree. I mean, this is just like one key per door or one key per event. This is a bit silly now. Like, literally, in the last, you know, few minutes, we've needed four different keys. Or three different keys. Well, let's see what the forklift does. I'm going to say probably not much. But hey ho, diddly deep. We have so many shotgun shells now. Okay. Okay, 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 hold up. How did that just happen? How did us possessing the key allow us to stand on the pallet on the forklift with nobody inside to operate the uh, hydraulic? You know what? It's fine. Okay. Yep. Cool. That's fine. That is how forklifts work. <sighs> right. Sounds like we've got some gribbly bastards, but that's fine. We've got the MA. The MA? Uh, the M37, so... Come get some. Oh, you're one of the big monstrous gribbly bastards. Oh, these guys don't really get stunned. Oh. Oh, are they tough little fuckers. I don't know what you're making so much noise about, Sunny Jim. Let's see if we can take this guy with a rifle, shall we? I mean, the rifle per shot feels powerful. Not terrible, is it? <laughs> I mean, the... Okay. They really are a joke, aren't they? They really are. Uh, so the shotgun is obviously more powerful than the rifle. But there's not a huge amount in it. It's about twice the damage. When you consider that the rifle has a good chunk more ammo for it, and it does piercing damage, eh. Alright, can we go through here? No, of course it's locked. Marlin Town? Of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Still got a blue moon, which means... I think that means that the uh, vampires are slow. But they do a lot of damage. I think that's what that means. But we've got some goodies. Oh, yes. Never going to say no to shotgun shells. If I do, slap me. Nothing in these lockers. It's so weird that we found quite a few lockers in this game. But there was literally, there's one in the entire... Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. 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 We get a belt of 308 bullets. Um. I mean, only 20. A belt of 308. So that'll either be for a, a nice, juicy rifle. Maybe a belt fed machine gun? Log house. We haven't found a log house. Belt fed. Is that where we came up? No. No, it is not. Would we get a belt fed weapon in this? Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> he literally said, ow, as he fell. I guess we're not going back that way. Remember the library from Resident Evil 2? Oh, is this a save room? Wow, they're literally just throwing gear at us left and right. 
Oh no, it's all going to be files, isn't it? Okay, so... New medicine for LPS sufferers. I don't know what LPS is. Current victims of LPS... Oh, right. Lose consciousness when looking at the moon. Very effective medicine has been developed for LPS. Is that a real thing? I get the feeling I've heard of that, but it also sounds like baloney. But I definitely am getting a feeling that I've I've heard about that. People that do get, like, mental disturbia. When there is a full moon, it's very well documented in, like, old folks' homes and with people with dementia. In fact, funny enough, my missus mentions it because she works in a um, care home for people with dementia and things like that. And it's a very difficult job, but they all... You know, it's very well known that during a full moon, they will go extra, extra. Is it fair to say loopy? But you get what I mean. They, they get a little bit um, harder to deal with, shall we say. Uh, anyway, very effective medicine. Uh, developing the drug is ph pharmaceutical producer STG, one of the nation's leading enterprises. Totally not umbrella. Uh -huh. Retail sales of the drug will begin next month. One person in 60 million has LPS, and the majority of sufferers are women. LPS begins when looking at the moon. Loss of consciousness, 80%. Come violent, 40%. Growth of body hair. Is that not lycanthropy? Eyeball irritation, unconscious behavior, growth of body hair. Oof. The discovery of LPS, Dr. Tenson, who runs a hospital in Japan, made the following comments. The moon has great influence on organisms. The influence is especially great on childbearing women. The moon has been compared to women since uh, days of old. Thus, there is a mystery about the moon and women. Medicine is ineffective against LPS. We first have to solve the mystery of the moon. <laughs> well, that's true. You know, that's very true interesting to get some factual stuff in this game not necessarily the disease that that thing's definitely made up but there is something uh some unknown that actually is slightly grounded in reality but yeah the, the moon has always been connected to females throughout history and culture They always say the lunar cycle affects uh, emotions in women as well. Stuff like that. I mean, how true that is, I, I don't know. But it's it's very well uh, trodden bit of uh, information. Right, okay. Cool. Hey, this is actually a save room. I thought it was because of that music. Uh, I mean, the music is ass. It's nowhere near as awesome as... The Resident Evil save room music, which is just pretty damn good. I will say the music in this game... Okay, it's calling it ass. It's, the music's not bad. It's acceptable. Uh, it's, you know... It's obviously not in the same league as Daddy Resident Evil. Where's our Magnum rounds? Do we want to take the pistol out anymore? Like... Have we reached a point where the pistol is just obsolete? I think we have. Alright, let's just combine. 35. Okay, so we've now got 45 magnum rounds. Which is very nice. Which is very, very nice. Uh, right, we'll put those back. Don't really need the 308 rounds. Don't you know what they're for yet I wouldn't imagine we're going to get a rifle because we've already got the AR so you know but who knows who knows but then a belt fed machine and like that doesn't make much sense either to be honest ooh we're in a town oh this is way more interesting than oh Ooh. 
locked gate. This is way more interesting than the casino. We don't have a map. Was there actually a map in here? I get the feeling there was. There was something on the wall. Ah, coffee, man. Oh, this game has suddenly got a lot more. Ah, was that a map? Yeah, apparently not. My bad. Okay. Right. This is awesome. Because I got to be honest, like the har the the harvest moon, the casino. Just I don't know. It was all right, but it didn't really do it for me. Not like this. This is cool. All right, let's start. Ah, so that's. Ah, uh, the locked door to the guest house. Why can't I just say like the door's locked instead of coming up with some bollocks? It doesn't really make like, you know, context sensitive sense. Okay. I know words are hard, okay? I admit words are hard. I've been a dyslexic my whole life, because that's how it works. But, come on. When you're making a commercial... Oh, God. When you're making a commercial product. Oh, God. Give him a blast of the um, M37. We don't have We don't have time to fuck around... We don't have time to fuck around here. Uh, save who we can. Kill the rest. Alright, come on, guys. I'm trying to save you. Yeah, the damage they take is just so inconsistent. I think that's the problem. Alright, well, we saved two of them. We took a lot of damage there, though. Oh, man. Probably wasn't worth using that. Ooh, nice. We've got 40 of those puppies now. I'm curious about that chainsaw. Is that actually going to be a weapon? Or do we need it for something else? Or is it going to be one of those... So there was just an M60 laying on a bed. Sure, why not? I mean, a belt of 20 rounds in an M60 isn't going to take us very far. It has unlimited? I'm confused. Oh, right. That just means it can hold unlimited amounts of ammo. Oh, man. Oh, man. John Rambo, eat your heart out. That's cool. So you can just load that up with, like, as much ammo as you want. Dude, we've got a freaking M60. Oof. Actually was not... I mean, I kind of thought maybe a belt-fed weapon, but then I was also thinking 20-round belts. Ugh, not really. All right. Also, wasn't the M60 7.62? Well, they probably made it in a lot of different calibers. That's generally the way weapons work. Right, so we got the map as well now. Yeah, there's probably a lot of calibers for the M60. This another file. I'm sure they made it in 5.56 as well. Uh, participants, regular nine members, place Marlin Town. Time from December 22nd, about two weeks. Marlin Town is famous for vampire legends and the remains of a medieval castle. But the vampire legends show the brutality of humans. They say they didn't exist, but they were there in Marlin Town. This time, it's the research lodge used for studies. It's for studies of various research subjects. Results and notes are written in this notebook. The study of Marlintown. There's the famous ruins, the medieval castle. Ooh. 
David, whatever became of the people, Tara, the graves surrounding the castle walls, eight. Wait, are these okay. So these are people that are researching this town, I guess. So this town is derelict. Uh, the gravestones have the same crest carved in them, Tara. David and Tara disappear. Kate. What? So, t is this just not a list of everything that they were set to do? But whilst he was writing the list, Tara and David disappeared. So he just put Kate on trying to find them. What? What is... Ah, okay. The study of vampires sending the crest data via the internet, Matt. The answer comes and AJ translates, Matt. Ugh, the crest belongs to the aristocrat girls family, which was destroyed in the Middle Ages. Sharon and Matt also disappear, AJ. Like, what is this in brackets? Is this what they have to do? Is it AJ writing this? Trying to follow suspicious employees. Ted. Ted disappears, but I'll investigate. Karen. Strain. Yeah, that sounds like that's what Karen said, but they wrote it. Okay. Yeah, right. Sure. Let's just go with it. Strange incident. Letters found on the grave markers are being deciphered. Rob. Urgent message. Kate. Six members have disappeared. I'm going to mobile going to mobile grave. Rob and Jay, AJ are looking for them in Marlintown. Deciphering ancient poems, Rob. We came to this place with large coffins. We revived our emperor who sleeps in the coffin. With blood of a woman of the moon, the dark hunter seeks to stop the emperor's rebirth. The seek we seek the woman of the moon and destroy the dark hunter. The time of revival shall be on the eve of the new millennium. I'm sorry, that's a poem? Doesn't seem like a poem. So, Masoto is a woman of the moon. Right. And the dark hunter is obviously the, the vampire hunter D guy going around. With a weird voice for reasons. Okay, so that makes a little bit of sense. Um, wow, well, yeah, as much sense as this game actually can make anyway. But that's all we have time for in this part, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.